Wouldn't it be more effective if you just made shorter videos with more concise information that were less entertaining and less relatively interactive? No. Why? Well, because it's not as you don't attract as much attention that way. And it's like those little anonymous sound bites. And secondly, we're dealing with deceitful, manipulative people. And deceitful, manipulative people are always going to find a way to spin doctor things and never going to tell the truth until they've killed themselves. So my job is to make them literally kill themselves physically so they can rebirth themselves spiritually. So my job is to clean house. Right now, I'm helping the computer eliminate molecular similitudes of irrational people and even using their own AI to do it that they use to protect themselves to abuse other people and use mass genocide or programs to kill innocent or more innocent. It's, yeah, it's innocent. Yeah, Solomon's not crazy, okay? There are degrees of, where not, none is innocent, none is pure, but there are more innocent than others and there are more righteous people and there are evil people and evil people have taken control and charge from the cell phones, the money, the abuse, the manipulation, the deceit. And if you work for them, you're less innocent than someone like me. So the computer is going to be more likely and the AI is going to focus more on people like you. The more you manipulate me, the more you abuse me, the more you help manipulate and abuse me. So I know exactly what I'm doing even when I don't know what I'm doing. I can explain to you, to you in, in relative interactive mathematical sequence and application and precise, scary manners. You mean to tell me that I, yeah, it may take 50 years, yeah, but then by the time that you kept fucking around, anybody like you in the future will not be replicated in the future. So you will be basically the salad of the, the lettuce on the taco salad. Yeah, I, just, I got that in Sierra Vista. I'm like, no way. So the Buddha's kind of right. Yeah, well, because, um, that, yeah, they, that you can't base everything that Edgar Casey said off those psychics and all those crazy people is that they manipulated the information. I told Paul Pullen say that. No, it's, there's good information, but there's a lot of shit in there, okay, because it doesn't mathematically add up. Human beings only transfigure as human beings and can't provide life for other symbiotic life. They can't, huh? So, if you watch The Lion King, okay, when you die, our bodies become the grass, the antelope, they eat the grass, and we eat the antelope, so we're all connected in the great circle of life, right? Evolution takes the form of the relative symbiotic interactive. Oh, so you can provide life, or you can have the life provide life for you, but you put back. Ooh, that sounds scary. I don't want to be a head of lettuce. You already are the head of lettuce. There's a little black spot on the sun today. It's the same old thing as yesterday. I've stood here before beside the pouring rain with my head turning circles running round my head. I guess it's my destiny to be the king of pain. I want to sell you more of my poems and be known as one of the smartest people in the world. That's my soul up there. <laughs> Do you understand? They're well intended, but god damn, they're arrogant ego fucking maniacs that are pansies that will never get world peace because they're too goddamn full of themselves to get a goddamn thing done. <laughs> Fuck, it's irritating as hell. And everybody compares themselves to you. Look at me, I'm like Thor, and I'm bad, and I could kick your ass if I got pissed off enough. Could you just go away? Why? Well, because I don't want to kick your ass. All I want to do is, you know... I want to find a wife that's faithful, that likes kids. I want to go watch my kids play some football games. I don't want them to hurt one another, and I want them to coach to do it, you know, like me and Doug and and the other coaches talk about, you know, protect and take care of one another, do it in the rules. It's just celebrating our testosterone. We like football. The pads are there to protect us from getting injured and not to use these instruments to injure one another. And the face mask is because your hands and fingers can get in other people's eyes and poke their eyes out and stuff. And now the face masks are there to protect their faces because of the incidental contact. Um, the helmet is to protect your head like in a car crash. Okay, the, the pads are to protect your parts of your body, your shoulders that you tackle with and stuff that, you know, it's not using an instrument to, to abuse the guy you're tackling. It's used, there's a large mass of muscle where you're tackling here and stuff and it's pretty tough. And so run fast, go over there and hit them. But, you know, don't try to incapacitate them. Your coach is an asshole who just wants to keep his job. You don't have to pay money to live here anymore. 
Okay, so you just have to be fair, and the best team will win. The fastest, the most intelligent, the most courageous, most brave, and most ethical team will win. Because if the one starts breaking the rules, we will start taking their kids and sitting them down, and their star athletes won't be able to play if they'll do anything unethical to win. This is me and Coach Morton, man. <laughs> okay. The da Danny Villanueva Center. We're in the Danny Villanueva. We've talked before. I'm back and forth between there. We've had it in between the Pan Am during the March before the game and stuff. We had really good conversations. I'm telling you, I love, I don't just like Doug Martin. Well, I love everybody, but I really like Doug Martin. And I really like Marvin Menzies. I've had really good conversations with him, too. And he doesn't just, you know, it's not just a thing to sit there and just, wow, that's fascinating. That's cool. Oh, people just say that just to agree with you because they're afraid of you. No, they understand. Marvin Menzies is a very intelligent man who's a very good teacher and has very good, when we sat and talked about it, he was sitting there and we talked. And after he ignored me the first time, second time, he played really close attention to me. And he was very considerate. And I don't bug him that much because I don't want to mess with his job. And I want them to be successful. And I like them being successful because I like him. And I like Andre. And I like I like his family. And I don't want these people that control the mass media and the cell phones to fuck with Marvin and his kid and the kids at the university. Because I really like them. They're great kids. Okay? And that's what we talked about. They're really good kids. I love DK. I love... I love uh, I love Jalen. I love Tam Tamvir. How do you forget about Tamvir? He's just so quiet and sweet. It's kind of like Tamvir. Oh yeah, Tamvir. <laughs> How do you forget the guy that's seven three, three hundred fifty pounds? It's not. It's just he's just so quiet and sweet. It's just like, oh Tamvir. By the way, Tamvir. You know that's what it is. It's not that. It's uh, Brax is very focused, good kid. Too. I like Brax too. I don't talk about him. It's, he's more quiet and a little more. I was trying to live. Matt's the talkative one, and I'm the talkative one. So me and Matt, you know. Jalen Jalen hangs out with Matt, so I just, and I, I hung out with guys in the military like Ian. So I like Ian because he reminds me of my guys from Dover, from from Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Dover, from the East Coast. You know, it, it, the Ian's from D.C. Baltimore area. You know, don't take no shit. <laughs> I like him, but it's yeah. So it's like you know, and Pascal Siakam, Jonathan Wilkins are just they're great kids. Okay, they're really good kids. They're not perfect. You know, Remy has his moments where he does some things. Well, why'd you do that, Remy? Oh, I wasn't thinking I was okay. I'm cute and all. I'm one of the most popular guys on the thing because I'm cute and I have a French accent. <laughs> he's a kid. He's a kid. He's a great kid. I really like Remy Berry. Oh, he is cute and he does have a French accent. He has a very cute girlfriend. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> no, but he's he's gorgeous. He's not just cute, he's gorgeous. He's, he's, he's really attractive, and he has a French accent, <laughs> and he works out real hard. Trey has him in the room, he's got a great body, and he's cute. Yeah, he's, he's cute. Remy Barry's, is, yeah, he's attractive. He's very attractive, you know, I guess nothing. Yeah, Remy, you know, because all the girls freak out. Well, he has a French accent, and he's very cute. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's a, yeah, the way the girls go out to Remy, they do. Yeah, that'll be a girl for you, don't worry about it. Remy gets all that. He has a girlfriend. Okay, <laughs> just... Funny. But do you understand okay, where I'm coming from? But it's, yeah, it's cool. Um, if he has more than one girlfriend, eventually one of those pretty girls that he's fucking around on is going to go for you. Because you won't cheat. You got a nice body and you're a nice guy. You're not as physically as attractive as him, but you, you won't cheat. But Remy's a good kid. It's, it's hard, though. Everybody comes after you. <laughs> okay. You're hot. You have a French accent. And, and lots of girls... Well, does, but can your girlfriend suck like a ball through a garden hose like these? <laughs> does your girlfriend have teeth like these? <laughs> does your girlfriend have an ass like these? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's Nicole Sersinger and the Pussy God Dolls. <laughs> Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? His girlfriend is hot. I've seen her. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's cute. She's sweet. She's intelligent. She's like, wow, she's special. Yeah, she's a special girl. She's really neat. And me and Matt were joking with her and stuff. And I was like, oh, no, that's Remy's girl. You know, I'm just giving her a hard time because I'm being silly. You know, and I'm just being, I'm being Matt. He's <laughs> just being silly. And he's, he's, he's a character. And people like him. And he likes people. And he likes to joke around and just be silly. And he did that with me at first. Everybody does. And after a while, I was like, this man is either crazy or the most amazing, brave man I've ever met in my life. I'm the most amazing, brave man you've ever met in your life. Yeah, crazy people are the ones that are told what to do by their phone and believe money's more valuable than children's lives. Okay, yeah, I see what I'm saying. So yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. I know I am. I didn't know I was, but now I know for sure. Okay, for most of you, I'm going to have a huge buzz in my ear. Okay, look. 
Yeah, guys, I, I know for sure that I'm one of the most amazing, brave, courageous, faithful people you've ever met in your life. Okay, because we're judged by our deed and the government has the surveillance to prove it. And no, I haven't killed anybody for money. <laughs> I'm, proud to, I'm proud to say that I haven't killed anybody for money. I haven't plotted to kill people for money. And I don't believe in health costs. <laughs> Do you understand me? And I don't believe in money. I believe it's an archaic resource management system at best. But I don't believe it's a value system because I'm frogging intelligent. Do you understand me? And I don't hit my ass when I hop unless I fall down. <laughs> Well, what? And I don't have wings. No. I'm an angel, but I don't have wings. No. My wings are faith in God. All right? And it, I can fly above most, almost everybody, just about everybody. But I don't want to fly too high. Because I bounced off the top of the world. Right? Well, you don't want to see Jennifer Lopez having sex with Casper Smart. Oh. You want Casper Smart to see Jennifer Lopez having sex with Casper Smart. Why? Because you're a human being who loves Jennifer Lopez and Casper Smart. No one wants to see that. I don't. If you want to see that, why would you want to be Casper Smart when you're not? I want Casper Smart to be Casper Smart. I don't want to be Casper Smart. I like Casper Smart, but I'm more faithful, more courageous, more brave than Casper Smart. If I was Casper Smart, we wouldn't have the apocalypse right now, would we? <laughs> Fuck, people. Pull your head out of your tuchus. <laughs> okay. And your penis and your vajayjays. Do you understand me? Stop thinking with your genitals. It motivates you to make lots of money to find the right person to make your genitals happy. And you're making your genitals happy ain't going to make you happy. You can fuck all the people in the world and it ain't going to make you happy. Ask Bill Chamberlain. <laughs> it's always a bitter, grouchy old man because everybody said that Bill Russell was a better teammate than you. Yeah, he was. Which means he won, won more championships than you because he was a more unselfish, kinder, thoughtful, considerate person than Bill Russell. He was a better basketball player than Bill Russell because he was a better teammate. Bill Russell, uh, Walt Chamberlain scored more points and fucked more women, but Bill Russell won more championships because he was a better teammate, which makes him a better basketball player. Is that understandable? All right. Be a good teammate. Be a better basketball player. <laughs> Be a better football player. Okay. Messi's the best player in the world. Who cares? Christian Ronaldo. I don't give a fuck. He's cute. And he's got a Spanish accent. <laughs> okay, dude. Yeah. Oh, he's hot as hell. Uh, Hamas, uh, Hamas Rodriguez. Oh, God. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, he's awesome. I hope he's the best soccer player in the world. I really don't give a fuck. I don't care if Beckham is. He's hot, too. He has a very hot wife. Yeah, but the thing is, who's the best soccer player in the world? Who can kick a ball through a net for a lot of money to pay Rockets to live here? Uh, do I really care? No. Do, do you know who's the best soccer player in the time of Jesus? I don't know if they were playing soccer then, Ralph. Who was the best gladiator? Um, uh, Spartacus. And what happened to Spartacus? He tried to free slaves and was murdered for it. Yeah, what about Jesus? He tom bien, but he didn't have to kill anybody to do it. He used his heart and his intelligence and his reason. Right, guys, just like me. All right, guys. I'm going to go down the library and we're going to load these up. And I might make one more. I'll see where I'm at. We'll stop maybe at 15. Why don't we just do 14? We'll do 14. But um, whatever. You know, we'll just leave off here and we'll pick up where we left off. If you haven't figured out what's going on and how it works yet, you're just distracted, stupid, insane, and who wants to get to know you in the future because you were dumb yesterday, dumb today, and you're dumb